In the last video, we learned how to define vectors in Scilab. We also learned the basic operations like addition, subtraction, element by element multiplication, or element by element division in Scilab. In this video, we will learn more about the vector operations in Scilab. So first thing which we learn in this presentation will be how to compute the magnitude of a vector, how to compute the dot product between the two vectors, how to compute the angle between the vectors, and how to compute the cross product between the two vectors using Scilab. So let us start with the first thing to determine the magnitude using Scilab. So here we have defined two vectors, two dimensional vectors, A and B. So in order to compute the magnitude of a vector, say A, in Scilab, we can make use of a simple function that is norm. So if we give norm of A, that will compute the magnitude of a vector A. And if we display this Z value, that means it will display the magnitude of the vector A. So let us execute it and see what do we get. So over here, since A is having these two elements, 1 and 0, so the magnitude will be 1. Let us change this value to say this and again execute it. So here we will get this value. So this is nothing but this is the square root of a 16 plus 117. This is the value which we'll get. Similarly, if you wish to compute the magnitude of a vector b, then we have to simply replace a with a b. Norm of b will give the magnitude of a vector b. So again, you can change this value. Say if I change this vector b, so again the magnitude is computed. No programming is needed. Only using norm function can compute the value of the magnitude of any vector. Let us learn how the dot product between two vectors can be computed. For that, again, not much of programming is required. We have to simply use this a star b prime. So if we take the multiplication of a with the transpose of b, that will compute the dot product. And we see from the expression that the dot product between two vectors is nothing, but it is a1, b1 plus a2, b2 for a two-dimensional vector. So this will compute the dot product. Let us execute this again and see whether we are getting the correct result or not. Let me clear the screen first. And over here, if we manually compute the dot product, we see that the value which we should get is 3 plus 8, 11, and we are getting 11 over here. So this is giving us the correct result. Let us change this value again. And now we see that we are getting 20. So this is how the dot product between the two vectors can be computed. Now let us move ahead and see how Scilab can be used to compute the angle between the two vectors. And for that, we have to make use of this mathematical expression. So theta is nothing but cos inverse of a dot b divided by the magnitudes of a with the magnitude of b. So let us write down few lines of code over here based on the mathematical expression. Say theta is equal to a star b prime divided by magnitude of a. So for magnitude of a, we can take norm of a, multiply it with the norm of b. So that will give us, now we have to take the cos inverse. So in order to take the cos inverse in Scilab, we have to make use of a cos. So a cos will compute the cos inverse. And we have to take the cos inverse of the THET, which we computed in the previous expression. Now here, the angle which will be computed over here, it will be in radians. So in order to convert this angle into degrees, we have to say I define this variable. And for that, I have to convert the angle from radians to degrees. So I have to multiply 180 by pi. And in Scilab, whenever we have to make use of pi, we have to use this percentage symbol. Now this computes the angle and we can display the angle between the two vectors A and B. Now let us uh, take this vector as a simple vector so that we can verify our results. So from here, we see that the angle between the two vectors 
should be 45 over here and uh, let us execute the program and see whether we get 45 degrees so we are getting 45 degrees if i change this to say 0 4 then the angle should be 90 degrees and we are getting 90 degrees if i change this to say 0 8 now the angle should be 0 degrees so we are getting 0 degrees so this is how the angle between any two vectors can be computed using scilab now let us learn how we can determine the cross product between the two vectors using scilab for that if these are the two uh, three dimensional vectors a and b in order to determine the cross product between them we have to simply use the cross function so using this cross function we have to pass the two arguments between which the cross product has to be determined so this is how a cross product can be determined no programming is needed and after we compute it we can display its value so let us execute it and we see that the resultant of the cross product gives us the vector so that is why we are getting the three components because we are determining the cross product between the two three dimensional vectors so we are getting three components for the cross product if we change these values we can verify these values by computing the cross product manually so for this change for this new vector we are getting these as the values for the cross product so this is how we can compute the dot product, the cross product and the magnitude and the angle between the two vectors using psi.